welcome back to Falchion Souls. Today we're going to be heading into the Grave Lord Tomb, Tomb of the Grave Lords, Grave Lord. Uh, tomb of the Giants, I mean. We're going to go get killed by Pinwheel first, I believe. I don't think I've ever got the right of kindling from him. We can check real easy when I get to the game. Uh, do I have right of kindling? Doesn't look like it. Nah. Oh, I do actually. I've already killed him. Huh. Huh. I don't remember killing him. I guess that's just that's just a statement about him. First, we're going to pick up the wolf ring because um, skeletons. Uh, I don't like skeletons. I like having poison when fighting skeletons. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's the fastest way to it, I guess. It's all right. Get my delicious drink. No one will ever guess what it is. It's totally a secret secret. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, once again, I have another chance to record, and I'm happy to do that, because I have been too busy lately, and getting getting a chance to record one episode is good enough for me. And I think, I think we can complete Tomb of the Giants pretty quickly. Hopefully this will not be an hour-long episode, and we'll just be quick. But, uh, you know, we, we can only hope, seeing as... Every time I want something to go quick, it goes really slow. Also, I hate getting the wolf ring. <laughs> they put it so far away from a warpable bonfire, it's just like, ah, uh, no. But it's a good thing we got uh, lightning weapons maxed out in that episode, other episode, because this thing is really useful. That move set, you know. Wee. But yeah, uh. Stuff to talk about. We can talk about how blue my hair is, but I'm pretty sure all you've noticed that by now. Um, we could talk about. I looked at the Dark Souls 2 website recently, and no spoilers there really, but I did notice that there's some new colors when it comes to invasions and summons. Um, I saw a picture of a, a phantom that was black, like completely black, like not not black in the sense that like dragon invasion, but like black in the sense of like the really dark phantom. Uh the red phantoms are very red. And uh there's also a gold phantom, which I assume is like the Sunlight Bro Covenant. So that's an interesting thing. And then um what other stuff was there? Yeah, uh, and the blue phantoms were all there and stuff. I, I kind of think that the black phantom might be the new Dark Moon Covenant. Like a, a spirit of vengeance would be a black spirit, you know? Ooh, they, have high, they have high lighting resist, Jesus. I don't know why I'm going this way, I just wasn't thinking about it. Hello. But yeah, I'm really excited for that. They also showed beards. There are beards in Dark Souls too. So finally we can have a manly man who has a manly beard with manly facial expressions. It'd be great. Because everyone in Dark Souls looks like this. Beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Everyone in Dark Souls looks like that. Tree. Those trees are so silly. Hopefully I get some green blossom. Yay! Green blossom! I love green blossom. I love it so much I'm going to put it on my hotbar. Hooray. You're not escaping me. I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, a topic to talk to think about. You think I would think about these beforehand? And normally I do, but I've been so preoccupied with programming lately that I just forgot to even think about recording this episode today, and now I have nothing to talk about. Oh, joy. You know, I, I, I done goofed. Hello. Falchion. It's four strong, two M. And we're gonna make this jump. Yes, I don't wanna die. Ow. Yeah, I see you have wolf ring. Let's put that shit on. I, I like it. This ring is really great. Uh, basically, 
for everything. It's good in PvE, it's good in PvP, because it just it gives you poise. That's all there is to it. It makes you poisey. And it's it's a good amount too. If forty poise is the amount it gives, that's like equivalent to having on a full set of uh, elite knight almost. I mean, I, I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it's pretty close. Uh, let's see, let's see. <laughs> right, we'll go to Firelink. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready to go into the tomb. I'm pretty sure. That's not the Tomb of the Giants. That's the Tomb of the Four Kings, because I already killed them. Huh. <laughs> you sorry fool. You yeah, sorry he's a sad. You, could not you sorry fool. You sided with Kaith so that you could be awesome Dark Wraith plus one. I swear, I have made nothing but Dark Wraith characters ever since I switched to the dark side. I used to be on the, the side of good and righteousness, and I would... I would uh, <laughs> and I would make sunlight bros and I would help people fight through in Orlando and stuff and then I just I was just at one point I was just like I'm so sick of waiting for summons let me try out these cracked red eyes I have and from then on out I have been a part of the dark side it's it's a it's a very slippery slope the first time you kill someone you're like oh shit that was pretty funny <laughs> and then it just continues to happen for a very long time not to say uh I mean, there's also the PvP scene. I, I still, like, I, I know Dark Souls, like, competitive PvP exists, but it's kind of like, I mean, it's just, it's like, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. Let's see. I mean, there's nothing to compare it to. It's just, the problem with Dark Souls PvP is that it, if you're good at it, the most effective build becomes a backstabbing build. Uh, roll backstab, rapier, whatever, whatever you want to do. It, they just they just get kind of ridiculous really fast. All right. We we're just gonna try and take the quickest route down there. Oh wow, that doesn't kill in one shot. Uh, how about this one? Not quite. Almost. I think the fire falchion did more damage. I don't know. Kind of need to put these right next to each other. What am I doing? There we go. Yeah, this one does more damage. Alright. Skeleton fighting time. I'm better off blocking with the falchion than I am blocking with like the actual shield because you can't use it correctly. <laughs> Actually, you can block with the shield. You don't have the stats for it, but I don't think it works very well. See if you can parry someone like that. That'd be hilarious. Oh shit! Okay, I'm gonna not die first. That's a better idea. Oh yeah, that shit does not work. Look at that. I want to try and parry someone with the delayed parry bullshit. Ow. Okay, we're going to do it on a hollow later. Skeletons are assholes. I want to try that later, though. It sounds like a fun idea. Because, uh... Oh. It seems like that, uh... You could actually parry someone. It looks like there's frames for it. Like, it, it seems like it would work if you did it right. <laughs> Speed run on this part. Ooh. Oh. 
those are some dead skeletons. Walk of faith. No! Oh, come on. I hate that. That's just annoying. I, like, that jump has always been kind of like... Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes you just walk off and it kills you. I don't even know why I went that way. I should have just gone the fast way. I'm pretty dumb. I'm pee dumb. Do -do -do. <laughs> oh no. My controller just stopped working. Why did my controller just stop working? <laughs> uh technical difficulties? Alright, we should be back now. Uh, my controller just like stopped working. I had to like disconnect it, unplug it, plug it back in, and then reconnect it. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen again. I don't like that. It makes me scared face. Hey! Chill. Ow. Okay. Yeah. I kind of wish I had the... I should have gotten the Red Titanite slab because it would one-shot the, skele the skeletons, I bet. But, you know, it's not that big a deal. I hope. I hope, hope. Okay. Okay. Slowly but surely. We'll make it there. Almost there. Sweet. There we go. Worked that time. <laughs> Hello there. I don't need your services today. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh, come on. I hate those things. Ah, catacombs. Okay. Gotta go fast. Oh, okay, that guy just decided to have his own little fun little holiday over there. It's all right, though. He can have his fun little holiday. Off the cookie go. Alright. YOLO. Actually, well, this is upgraded. I shouldn't replace it. Oh, wait, I had the... Don't I have the poison ring on? No, I don't. Shit.
Okay. Oh, jackpot. Screw you. Ah. Okay. Where's my humanity? Alright, that'll do. That'll do. We're gonna go ahead and clear through here, I believe. Hopefully we can make it to the bottom of the Tomb of the Giants. I don't actually know at this point. <laughs> it should be possible. Maybe. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and try and do this. I don't know if I can. Wow, I can still light roll with that? Man, I got a lot of stamina. Shit, I could be wearing a helmet. Black Sorcerer's hat. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Got a little black sorcerer's hat. It's real style. Hello. Bye. Hello, goodbye. Hey, on fire. So we're almost there already. And by there, I mean dead. Because this is going to be a fun, fun fight of funness. Hello there, governor. And get this. And get this. And get this. And then use a homeward bone. I don't think Patch just knows about how homeward bones, because he would have, like, totally not tried to kick a bunch of clerics who would have homeward bones into a pit. I mean, you really, you think about it, they're all retarded if they, they don't, or like, I mean, how, how the hell do they not have homeward bones? Why would you go into the Tomb of the Giants without a homeward bone? I mean, who does that? Oh, well, I did these, like, you know, you... Uh, no. Perhaps. Give me some... Give me yeah, delicious humanity. Delicious humanity. Ah! No! Please don't. I don't want to die. I would prefer life. My blue hair is afraid of you. <laughs> oh yeah, I should be doing that meme from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Uh, Attention, duelist! My hair is attacking you! it probably is, is actually like offending your eyes. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I just did. Don't judge me. <laughs> I wonder what happened. He like jumped off or something. Uh, okay. That's this flask. Why it's only plus two? I must be getting lazy. Yeah, I have a firekeeper soul in my inventory. I should have used that shit. Probably gonna. I'm gonna probably regret it in, in a moment. Uh, do I want to kill Leroy? Ooh, I could get super hyper mode. Oh, I could. Mm, that's temptations, man. That's temptations. I have to do it now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta do it now. This is my only chance to do that. My face when I get invaded by a SL1 guy. The chances of that are like infinitesimal, but it might actually happen. Cuz that's I mean the only people who can invade me are like level basically levels uh 11 and down, I think. I'm not totally 100% sure about that, but I think it's 11 and down. Okay. Yeah. 
just get this back out. I, I mean, I wish I could just run around with my shield equipped, but this is my only real option. Whoa. Chillax, Broski. I actually love the fact that you can, um... If you're blocking while sprinting, you can actually just roll instead of jumping. It's really useful, uh, considering that a lot of times I mess up and accidentally jump instead of roll and then die because you take extra damage while jumping. Alright. Okay. Sweet. We made it. My beautiful face. So, okay, I can't see it because it's too dark in here. <laughs> there we go. Look at that beautiful face. Yeah. <laughs> He's my masterpiece. <laughs> He's like a deformed Squidward. Alright. Let's poison Leroy. I mean, why not? Yes! Let's try and toxic him too. That'd be pretty funny. We did it! We are the greatest! <laughs> Alright, I don't know how much poise he has, to be honest. So I'm kind of, like, wary of attacking him. Oh, fuck! No! I didn't mean to do a rolling attack. I meant to roll behind him and just roll onward again. I should have... Ah, oh, I double tapped like a dumbass. Ah. Oh. That was dumb. I'm bad. I had to restore my beautiful face to its once glory position of amazing sexualization. I'm also gonna kindle this fire because I'm gonna need ten flasks for this fucking boss fight. <laughs> I can already feel the need for ten flasks because I I just have one shot up by Leroy. Uh, what else? Uh, don't I have something better than this? Answer is no. <laughs> I don't have any useful spells in this character. It is Falchion Souls, and that is all this is. Jesus Christ, how horrifying. Yeah. That's the hardest enemy in the game. Uh, that and, um... Oh, I just got a message... In the middle of this, that y'all like don't don't check that message. Better not check that message. I'm totally gonna check it. <laughs> totally gonna check it. It's gonna get me killed. All right, here we go. Oh, do it! Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, okay. Alright. My cousin wants to play Dota 2 with me. I'm bad at Dota 2. It's, this is a, here's a funny story. So I started playing Dota 2 because League of Legends in Season 3 was shit. And, uh, as, I, I, I have like a love-hate relationship with, see, with, with, uh, I'm gonna talk about this after I die. Hold on. Do whatever you wanna do. Attack me. Run. Are you gonna walk? Are you gonna walk? Oh! Damn it! Again! <laughs> Fuck! I was so close. Damn it! Leroy is hard. Leroy is an actual beast. In uh, in this, like, I, I have. Wow. Holy fucking shit. Uh, I don't know if I just lost my souls or not. I couldn't. I, I forgot if I picked him up or not. Okay, so yeah, Leroy's hotter than the boss, it seems. I think Leroy is actually going to be the boss of this area. Holy shit. He's such, he's such a fucking beast. I don't want to try and parry him either because I'm afraid he'll wreck me. I might do it though. I don't know. We'll have to see. 
All right, here we go. But uh, yeah, back to the story. Uh, so, uh, like, I used to play League of Legends a lot. Like, actually try to play it, and um, I kind of liked it. I, I actually really liked the game in season two. It was pretty good game in season two because everything was pretty much viable in terms of like build style and stuff. And I, I like to play. I like to play Glass Cannon. That's just how I roll. And I, I fuck. I play Glass Cannon and Riven. Like I would, I would uh, rush Bloodthirster Brutalizer on her, and I would play Glass Cannon fucking Riven and win because it was it was viable. Everything was just pretty good overall. And then season three came along, and the only viable strategy was building full tank, like on everybody, like tank Karthus, tank. I mean, I, I played tank Akali in one. It was so stupid. Like you can just build tank on anything. And the game was shit, so I moved to I moved to Dota two, and I convinced my cousin to move to Dota two after like telling him like a million times it was better and like spending a lot of time trying to convince him and eventually he moves and now he plays it all the fucking time and is really good at it and I'm shit at it and I just troll League of Legends you probably I'm gonna upload a video of me doing jungle Ezreal and jungle LeBlanc at some point because it was fucking funny <laughs> but anyways end of story time time to die time ah, shit whoa I don't need that ha okay shit Again! Ah, damn it! I hate you, Leroy. No, this is gonna take an hour. This episode is gonna officially be an hour after this. How many times have I fucking died? Damn it! <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. My beautiful face is ready to get smashed. This is actually what it looks like after getting hit by Grant a few times, I believe. And uh, I'm changing my strategy a bit. I switched my ring to Hornet because uh, I'm gonna try and parry him. This is gonna end poorly. We all know it. Oh man, look at that damage! Jesus Christ. Okay. Are you serious? No. Oh no! His stuff! No, I want the stuff! No! What the fuck? No! Please, please give me the stuff. I want the I want the shield. That was the whole point of this bullshit. It was the whole point. Oh man! Please. I wanted the stuff, guys. I wanted the stuff. Well, there we go. That's what happens when you backstab. You lose stuff. Should have parried him. But he was trying to heal, and I didn't want him to heal, so I didn't really have an option. Alright, uh, we know what I'm putting on here. All right, cool. Ready to go. Absolutely not. That archer is not a very good shot. <laughs> Alright, gotta make sure not to get hit by this crap. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Ow. Screw you. Hardest boss in the game. <laughs> so yeah, the real talk is, uh... Who's gonna take more tries? Nido or, uh... Pal Paladin Leroy, because I, I think that would be pretty bad if I take more tries. Okay, so we're going to use Havels because I don't feel like getting wrecked. <laughs> we all, everyone knows how this strategy goes, I believe. Or everyone should know. Can I get mid-roll out of this? Probably not. I don't think it's possible. Do I have seal protection? Damn it, I wish I had that ring. I don't even have Havel's ring. Wow, have I not killed Havel? That's pretty impressive. I haven't actually killed Halo. I almost always kill him. Impressive for the wrong reasons, by the way. 
Uh, and there's no well. Do I have a catalyst for this? There we go. Almost had flasks already. Fuck, no! Oh my god, the closeness was so close of a cadence! Okay, here we go. It's the final countdown. Yes! Glory! Hey, she's okay. I can't heal myself with that poison, so I better get the hell over that bonfire. Okay. Hooray! We did it. Okay. So, Paladin Leroy takes five attempts, Nito takes one. <laughs> Although, I have to say, I cheese the shit out of Nito with, you know, the Havel nonsense, but that's kind of how you do these things. Uh, it, when you're a low level, it's always easier to take a tank and spank approach, unless you're, like, really, really talented and you're in your game plus seven or whatever. Uh, this tends to work just fine. I don't have the patience to learn how to dodge Nito's uh, skeletons while dodging Nito at the same time, so, yeah, no. <laughs> this is how that's going to go. Though, to be honest, if you were going to do this with a... If you're going to go with the standard, like, RTSR hyper mode for killing Nido at a low level, you would make a Divine Falchion and a Fire plus 10... Or a Chaos plus 10 Falchion. And then use Power Within, Red Tear Stone, and just kill the Skeletons permanently with the Divine Falchion, and then kill... I mean, Nido by himself is actually not that big a deal. Nido by himself is pretty much a punk bitch. <laughs> it's the Skeletons all around him that cause you problems. That's why I was wearing full armor to get... You know, lots of poise to avoid getting staggered out of it. But yeah, we did it. That is uh, the third of the four we need. And then we have... So the next thing is the Duke's Archives with Seath. And once we complete that, we go to Gwyn. And then we go into New Game Plus. We pick up the spells we need. And then after that, I think we're ready to start recording the next bro hunting video. Which will be great. Uh, I also need to finish the bro hunting uh, episode 5 which I'll probably post in the next few days if I can get it done. Uh, once that's done, uh, this will be this will probably be bro hunting 6 or 7. I don't know. It depends on if I want to do a uh, different... Oh, there's another one I had an idea for that I'm not sure if I'm going to do yet. So We'll see. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you next time.